In this video, we will go over creating a computed column for a data set in BERT. After you've run your query and you see that your results return, you can then go and create a computed column. You will click New and name your column. So for this example, we will do a couple of different calculations. The first example, we have a start date and an end date in this result set, and we want to know the day's difference between the start date and the end date. So we don't have that here in our data set, but we need that for our report. So we would come here and create a computed column, click new, and we will say day's difference, and that will be integer and then we come to our expression so we're going to look for expression that will give us today's difference and we have a BERT expression date different and we put the first date and second date and it will give us the result for the day's difference so we come to our data set we find our two columns Click in function, start date, comma, end date. Click OK. And now we preview our results. And now we see we have the dates, days difference between the start date and end date for our report. Let's do another example. We could also say merge string results. We have a category, which is a pair type to pair group the type. Let's say for some reason in our, in our report, we need to have them both in one column for reporting. We can create a column and call it Type and that would be a string. And what we would do is first uh, the category and then maybe we'll put a hyphen in between. and type, click OK, and preview our results. And now we have a category and type detail. So that is the basis for creating a computed column in your data set. It's often easier to create these in your data set before adding them into your report for our troubleshooting purposes.